If it so happened that your husband decided to leave you, the first thing you need to do is get yourself together. If you are emotional, you will make mistakes, and instead of getting your husband back, you'll push him further away. Men never leave their wives and kids for no reason. It could be stated with a degree of certainty that the decision was carefully weighed and considered for quite some time, since for most people, family is one of the most valuable things in life. No one leaves their family based on one fight. Your husband has kept resentment towards you for a long time, or he may have been unhappy and missed the emotions he once had with you. It's likely that your husband tolerated the situation in your home for a while. He was worried about it and hoped that something would change. Either he ran out of patience or something influenced him from the outside. Maybe other people talked him into the decision or he met another woman who reminded him of the passion that he once felt with you. I would like to recommend a great website where I found a lot of information on how to get a husband back. Take a look. xback.how forward slash h. That's e-x-b-a-c-k dot h-o-w forward slash h. In this video, I will share some information about how to get your husband back if he no longer wants to be in the relationship with you. Usually, men will talk about the reasons that led to a breakup during fights. But if time goes by and no one is listening to him and nothing changes, their patience runs thin and they decide to leave the family. It's possible that your husband asked for a break in the relationship because he needs to be alone and think about the situation. This is when most women start making mistakes. What should you do in this case to save your marriage? First of all, don't chase him and beg him to come back. You have to understand that you will not get the result you're looking for if you do this. Why, you may ask? Because you are afraid of losing him and don't want to let him go. In this case, a man will most likely be rude towards you and cool off. He will close off and avoid any communication. Such action on your part is not a way to save the family. It's much better to give your husband some space than to annoy him. Give him a reason to start missing you. If you try to pressure him, threaten him, manipulate him or blackmail him using your children or something else, you will get the opposite reaction than the one you're looking for. Your husband will start avoiding you and try to push you away. Doing so, he is letting you know that you shouldn't pressure him and that you should leave him alone. Why did this happen? The human psyche works in such a way that when we are talked into something and being pressured, we want to run away. Think about the following situation. If 20 years ago, when no one had heard of an iPhone, someone approached you on the street and started to pressure you into buying an iPhone, you would most likely be distrustful. Your natural reaction would be to reject something you know nothing about. Today, everyone knows about and wants an iPhone. But 20 years ago, you definitely want to get rid of the annoying person who's trying to pressure you. Similarly, you shouldn't try to talk your husband into anything, pressure him or beg him to come back. This will definitely not work. You should create a situation where he feels unstoppable passion towards you, where he is being pulled towards you. First of all, you need to give him enough time to start missing you and want to get your past relationship back. So chasing him is a very bad idea that will only cause you pain. Give it a break for a few weeks. Start working on yourself and become the woman that he once desired. The image of a beautiful, smiling woman always attracts more than that of an angry, sad, and emotional wife who is constantly crying. Such a woman screams that she is unhappy without him. 
but such women only cause pity not sexual desire or the need to be with her write down the reasons for your latest conflicts and fights and begin to work on fixing them this is a great opportunity to turn your pain into change after you've changed it's not enough to just tell him about it most likely he won't believe you and won't want to come back I recommend using the techniques of indirect influence of his emotions to show him that you've changed and become more attractive in his eyes. Methods of such influence are described in great detail in the book by Sergio Arise, Gary Ideal, and Helen Wolfe, Get Your Husband Back. You can find detailed information about our book by following the link to our site, which is listed below. If your situation is unique and you need help, you can ask me questions in the comment section. I will answer them as soon as I can. Like this video and our channel and support us in creating new helpful videos.